What is up everybody and welcome back to another edition of Lovely Loners. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this Shirogorov Neon Ultralight. Not to be confused with the neon light that we put up recently. Um, and this is on loan from a friend of mine, and he bought it brand new from Recon One, who is the Shirogorov dealer in the United States. Uh, and he had it mailed directly to me, so I got to completely um, check out a Shirogorov right out of the box, which was pretty exciting. Um, now, as I mentioned, I have already handled the regular neon light. Um, so as far as my general impressions of the overall shape of the knife, its EDC ability, um, and my general impressions about the Neon, uh, I'm going to link to that video in the description and also put it up at the end of this video so you guys can go check it out go check that out. Um, as many of you have realized by now, I don't like to waste anybody's time by repeating myself um, when I look at two knives that are virtually identical. So we're just going to talk about some of the differences here. With the ultralight, the main difference is that you are trading out the back spacer for the standoff, um, and that's going to make the knife a little bit lighter. Now, personally, I like to have the the back bar, the back spacer. Um, I like that it gives a little bit more meat because it kind of sticks out a little bit, um, and then I also like that it makes the knife a little bit heavier. But obviously, if somebody is looking for an ultralight version, this is going to be the one they want because um, I know that some people appreciate a lighter knife uh, than I do. So it definitely decreases the weight of the knife. Um, as far as this one was concerned, it did come out of the box with pretty significant lock stick, but I am told that's fairly normal for the Shirogorovs. It's just gonna need some tuning and a little bit of breaking in, which is totally fine. Um, I haven't had the knife too long. I've been pretty busy lately uh, with some meetings at work and stuff, so I didn't get to play with the knife as much as I'd like. Um, but it is very smooth. It's you can You can tell how compared to the neon light that I tried before that that knife had been previously owned quite a bit and was broken in. Um, this one does not quite have the uh, drop shut speed as the other one that I tried and that is entirely due to the fact that it's not broken in yet. It's improved vastly since I originally got it. Um, you can see it really is super smooth now. When I first got it out of the box, it wasn't quite dropping all the way uh, it would kind of get stuck like here like it just did a little bit and uh, you would need to shake the knife to get it closed so it's definitely broken in a little bit um, but yeah that's pretty much it so <laughs> there really isn't much else to say about this one compared to the uh, regular neon light other than that this is going to be a lighter option for somebody that's interested in that um, and you know I just will say this knife is I mean, it makes for the perfect little EDC. If you are looking to own just one knife that you want to be of very high quality, but that that's going to be the thing that you take with you every day and you're going to beat on it and, well, maybe not beat on it per se, but, uh, you know, you're going to get serious use out of it. Uh, and I say serious and not hard, right? Because this isn't going to, you don't want to baton with this or, or any means or anything like that, um, but you can definitely use it on a daily basis and sharpen it and take care of it and all of that. Um, and it's gonna be the perfect size and weight and everything to do that with. So um, I definitely appreciate this knife. It's a little too Spartan for me, um, which is totally fine. I'm into some of the flashier stuff, as you guys know. Uh, but this really just makes the perfect little knife. So if you want to learn more about my thoughts on the knife in general, please feel free to check out that other video. If you guys would ever like to send me a knife for Lovely Loners, you can do so by emailing me at tovarishworks at gmail.com. Uh, follow me on Instagram at tovarishworks. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.